First, we want to tell you about a new concept, achieving zero waste, folks, by making brand new items out of your trash, all of your trash. It's today's big idea. TerraCycle collects hard-to-recycle items like juice containers, candy wrappers, and cigarette butts, converts them into everyday products, things like toys, office supplies, and shopping bags. Tom Zaki is the founder and CEO of TerraCycle. Let me start with the cigarette butts. How do you how, how, recycle a cigarette butt and do what with it? Well, so when we recycle something like a cigarette butt, which we yeah. now do across nine countries around the world, the yeah. first step is we have to create collections. So yeah. uh, you can go to our website at TerraCycle.com, right. get free shipping, send us your used cigarette butts. From there, uh, we, uh, every type of garbage is a little bit different, but for cigarette butts, we shred them, separate them into the organic pieces, which is like your ash tobacco paper, which okay. is then composted. And the inorganic aspect, the, the butt itself, uh, is made into an injection moldable plastic and made into something like that. This is, that is the result of uh, recycled cigarette butts? Absolutely. This has a high oh. percentage of used cigarette butts, and this is made into like a park bench or anything along those lines. Okay. Now, for the everyday person, you're talking about we can recycle everything. Absolutely. There's got to be something that we can't recycle. Well, it all has to come down to economics. You know, the reason yeah. an aluminum can is recyclable yeah. is because the cost of collecting it and processing it is, is uh, less than the value. Yeah. But everything else from a pen to a, uh, a toothpaste tube to a juice pouch costs more to collect and process than the resulting stuff is worth. So it's about are you willing to fund it? So major consumer product companies are sometimes individuals. Okay. What are we talking about here? I, I see the, the, the juice pack it, backpack sure. here. What is it with the toothpaste uh, right here? What is this? Well, so to toothpaste tubes are not recyclable anywhere in the world, and okay. we today do this in nine countries where you can send them to us, and we'll either upcycle it into something like a pencil case like this. Oh, wow, okay. Or, okay. because you know, not everyone will want a branded pencil case, we melt it into a plastic and make it into something like the inner liner of this cooler here. Okay, now how, just how expensive is this? It, this all sounds great, but like you said, is it, it, it just not financially, financially feasible to do this? Well, right, on its own, it won't work. That's okay. why, typically, around uh, America, the recycling systems accept glass, paper, and certain plastics and aluminum. Mm -hmm. But everything else, from a pen to a toothpaste tube to a juice pouch, it doesn't make economic sense. So here we gain funding from Kraft Foods for juice pouches or Colgate for uh, uh, toothpaste tubes, and they fund that economic uh, difference. And okay. that way we're able to bring these programs for free. You say, if, oh, but are people, are you able to sell these products? Sure. After, okay, after Absolutely. the fact, you can still, you know, make some money and still, this, you're, you're buying something that's recycled and people feel good about that. Absolutely. The products help complete the cycle and okay. subsidize a part of the system. All right. Now, is this, you've been doing this a long time now. Are, are we catching on slowly but surely and maybe down the road, maybe even decades, we'll get to this point? Or is it still not picking up steam like you hoped it would? Well, look, it is a journey. Uh, now, TerraCycle, after 11 years, operates in 26 countries. 60 million people use our programs. Uh, and we collect, for example, 4% of all of America's juice pouches or 1% uh, of America's chip bags. Now, the challenge here is that the garbage problem isn't, isn't going to be solved by recycling. The garbage problem has to be solved by how we as consumers purchase because nothing can be garbage if we don't purchase it to begin with. And I think that's where we have to reflect because recycling is just a sort of a reaction to a problem but will not be the answer. And it's TerraCycle.com, do they have that right? That's right, TerraCycle.com. And that's where they can get one of these and start to, you know, start to learn on their own how they can go about doing this. Absolutely. Right. Again, it's Tom Zaki, uh, TerraCycle is the name of TerraCycle.com. This is interesting. I was very curious to see this today, but I appreciate you bringing it in and keeping at it. Thank All you. right, thanks so much. And folks, if you have a big idea, let us know about it on Twitter. The hashtag, what's the big idea? You can email us uh, at bigidea.msnbc at nbcuni.com. Again, that's Tara Cycle. Well, the